Hello and welcome to my 22nd Minecraft Forge modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.4.7. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So in the last tutorial I talked to you about how to um, set the harvest level of a custom block. And in this tutorial I'm going to talk to you about something I probably should have talked to you uh, about a long time ago, but I didn't um, because I sort of forgot. And that is how to make a multi-textured block. Um, so if you don't know what I mean by that, basically it's if you have a block that has a different texture on the top or the front side or the back side, like a furnace um, or a crafting table, that kind of thing. So it's actually pretty simple. Um, we only need to add one method inside our block class. Um, and also, before I get started, I added this very simple texture um, to our tutorial textures.png sprite sheet, just a basic green um, right there. So the way we do this is we add one method inside the block that you're trying to affect, and that is public int get block texture from side, and then the parameters are int and then side. So um, this method gets passed in a an integer that is a side, and it goes from 0 to 6, I believe. So 0 and 1 are the top and bottom. I'm not quite sure which is which. You can play around with that. And then um, 2 through 5 are the sides. So 2, 3, 4, and 5 are the um, sides. So the way we actually define the textures is we could say return this dot block sorry, my dog is barking, index in texture, um, and no parentheses there. And what that would do is it would just give us the same um, texture we have normally with our texture being on every side of the block. So what I'm going to do is actually create an if and then else. And inside the else, I'm going to put return this dot block index in texture. But in the if, we're going to say if side equal equal, say, let's say I want to make the top and bottom of the block be the green. So I'm going to say if side equal equal zero, or, and that's the two equal equal zero, or um, and that's the two vertical um, lines, or side equal equal one, only two equals, then return, and then we're going to return the actual sprite sheet uh, texture. So in this case, it'll be return one. Now, if you wanted to, say, make it dependent on where the this um, the normal block texture is like you wanted to make it so that you're all no matter where you put it in the sprite sheet you're always going to have the second um, the second texture to the say right of the normal texture um, then we could just say return this dot block index in texture plus one and that's actually how I would recommend um, you doing it just because if you move some stuff around, it'll always be that way, and you won't have to go through all of your blocks um, to test it, or to change it. Um, now we're going to test it. Okay, so if I just go into our new world, then you'll see that it's going to give us um, our block, and And we, ah, that's loud. Um, and if we look under the block, it's got the, um, the green texture. So if you were to set it to if one, or if side equal equal, say four, it would be one of the side textures, um, et cetera, et cetera. So that's it for this tutorial. I'm not quite sure what I will talk about in the next tutorial but I can guarantee it will be something. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.